Hello my friends, welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. In this video I will show you a quick effect uh, that you can add to your photos using just three adjustment layers, okay? And what you can see here is the result of this uh, three adjustment layers. Let me show you the original image, which is this one, okay? So we're gonna create this effect. With uh, these three adjustment layers you can use exactly the same settings to other photos. So you can see this other example here before and after, and this one as well, before and after. Now, the good thing about this technique that, that I'm gonna show you is that you can change the settings here because we're going to work with adjustment layers, so we can uh, change the settings here to uh, make the image look however we want. So I hope you will like it, and let's get started. Okay, for this tutorial we're going to work with the bottom image, so we're gonna deactivate everything here and drag everything here on the bottom. And The first adjustment that we're going to use is a gradient map, so I'm gonna add a gradient map adjustment layer. I already have a tutorial explaining how gradient maps work, but uh, basically what you do is remap the, all the colors of an image based on their luminance. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this default gradient. If you don't see this gradient, just click this icon here and choose uh, reset gradients and choose this uh, orange to purple uh, color and click OK and now I'll click reverse to invert this gradient basically what I'm doing is I'm adding to all of the shadows this orange zone and as I'm going towards the highlights I have this um, purple tone okay and now we're gonna change the, uh, the blend mode to divide it's a re really weird <laughs> blend mode that I almost never use, but in this case it works nice. And we have to drop the opacity a lot here, to about 15%. And what you get with this is, you can see, it makes the image a bit brighter, and on the shadows we have this uh, purple tone, bluish tone, and also we um, have some yellow on the highlights there, you can see. Now, the next adjustment that we're going to add is a curves adjustment. And here we have to dive into the channel. So click this drop down and go on the blues. And the only thing that we're going to do here is select this bottom left for the absolute shadows here and add an output of 22. Okay, and that way we add a bit more blue on the shadows and we add less and less blue as we go towards the highlights. And we're going to do the same for the greens, 22 for the output and for the red as well. Select this bottom left point and add an output of 22. What we get with this is we make the image a bit brighter on the shadows part. See that? But we're not touching the color. So uh, because we, uh, incre we increased the amount of light on all three channels on the same amount. That's why we don't have a uh, color change here. We can also change the RGB here. Now this depends on your image. So if your image is too dark, just add a bit more of light if you want or uh, change the highlights, wh whatever you want. For this particular image, I'm gonna dra drag this slightly higher. Okay, see the before and after. Now since this is a really simple photo effect and we're just going to use three adjustment layers, you can create an action for this. And whenever you want to add this effect to your image, you can click this uh, actions icon or just go to window and choose actions. And here what you need to do, I have a folder uh, of my own here on PSD box. Just create a new action, give it a name or you can put it on a folder if you want to. You can assign a function key. So for example, you can choose F3 and click the shift and command. And whenever you uh, make that keyboard shortcut, you apply this action and then hit record and just add these adjustments and the settings that I that I will give you and when you're done click um, stop and then you have the action saved. Now let's move on and add the last adjustment which is a solid color and here I will choose an orange like this but this color depends on your image and on your taste as well. Okay so uh, we will change the blend mode of this to soft light and we're gonna drop the opacity to 25%. Okay, now if you want to choose a different tone, you can choose, for example, a red tone. Uh, you can saturate it more or less. Okay, this is sort of, it acts sort of like a photo uh, filter, uh, like this adjustment layer photo filter, but you can change the color using this uh, color picker, which is nice. Uh, green also looks nice, but 
maybe not that saturated okay um, for this particular image what also would probably look nice is creating a light glow here so let's use a really dark orange yellow tone like this create a new layer set the blend mode to screen and I'll get a brush a big brush uh, 3000 pixels is too much make sure the hardness set to zero and let's see we'll make the brush bigger and bigger about that big opacity and flow of the brush 100% and just click once there I want it a bit brighter so I'll choose a more saturated and brighter tone and click again there and that's my light glow okay now um, I want to show you the same effect that I just created with another photo so I'll just drag it on top and activate it and you can see it looks nice maybe this light glow is not looking good for this particular image but uh, the effect looks nice if you want to change the tone simply double click on the color fill and give it a warmer tone or uh, something like that if you don't want as much uh, color uh, as I have here simply drag this to the left to the saturated and that's it and if you set this to black you will have no effect because we're using the screen blend mode the higher you go the more light you add and the more you go on the right the more saturation you get on your uh, on your tone let's leave it to about here and less saturated like so okay and this was the before and this is the after and that's it uh, this is this was a simple uh, photo effect that I wanted to show you I hope you liked it and see you next time